Is Suella Bravman right to stand her ground on this policy? Oh, yes, I just wish they'd get on with it. You know, we've been hearing now for over a year, um, nearly two years, in fact, we're going to do Rwanda. It's going to happen. You know, we're, we're going to face down the legal challenge. It, it will definitely be happening next month, the month after, the month after that. It never happens. It never happens. So I'll say to Suella, yes, you're quite right to be doing it, but I'll believe it when you've done it. Indeed. But is Rwanda window dressing? Is it politics rather than policy? No, I think it actually is policy because it will have a very, very major deterrent effect. And that is what we need. I've said on this programme many times that the only way to tackle the issue of illegal immigration is to uh, deter people from wanting to come. And at the moment, uh, the message is come to Britain and you're very unlikely to be removed. We've got to reverse that message and indeed reverse it in such a way that says not only will you be removed, you're going to end up in Rwanda. And what's your appraisal of how the Home Secretary has been characterised in the course of pursuing the Rwanda policy? Mm -hmm. Steve Bray, who will be known to you, he's of course the anti-Brexit campaigner, yep. posted an image on social media this weekend. And, and I'm, I'm just going to warn our viewers, this could be yep. deeply offensive to some. So look away if, if uh, you might be offended by this. And it's an image, a photoshopped image of Suella Braverman at the gates of Auschwitz. Uh, that is terrible. I remember something very similar when I announced an immigration policy as shadow Home Secretary. Uh, and there was a cartoon in one of the major national newspapers uh, uh, of Auschwitz. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a completely false comparison. There is no question of genocide. There is no question of promoting suffering. There is simply a question of deterring people from coming here and having them processed in, in a far off country. And you know, that seems to me a very good policy indeed. And I hasten to add, this particular tweet has been deleted, but it gives you a flavour of the discourse around this subject at the moment. Well, it's more emotion than mm. it is common sense. And we need to debate this coolly and logically, uh, not with Gary Lineker type Nazi comparisons. Indeed. Now, the politics professor at the University of Kent, Professor Matthew Goodwin, has said that the stop the boats policy is far more popular in the country than, than any sense you'd have if you just looked at Twitter. Uh, do you think there's a divide b between the, the political and media elite who are not impacted by illegal immigration and the great British public? There is a massive divide. Uh, this is something that the Cameron government didn't understand. You know, they didn't think that, that anybody thought other than that they thought in, in their metropolitan elite bubble and therefore got a nasty shock when the result of the referendum came in. And yet governments after that have just gone on assuming uh, that people uh, think uh, like the liberal elite do, and they don't. And if you're, uh, a, you know, an ordinary blogs on the ground and you're living in an area in which there's a lot of, of Im illegal immigration and people are being put up uh, close to you, you care. I mean, you really care about it. You care about the pressure on health services and school places and, and local services. You actually do care. It's real and it's serious to you. It's not theory. Uh, and so, yes, I think there is a very big divide indeed between the governed and the governed.